Hey, hi, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to explore how to use Platform IO for Arduino. Let's get started. We will use Arduino Uno in this video. First, make sure you have Visual Studio Code installed on your computer. If you don't, you can download it for free from code.visuals2dio.com. After downloading, install Visual Studio Code. Follow the normal installation process. Click on the I accept the agreement, then click on Next, again click on Next, and again Next. We will keep all the default options. Again click on Next. Click on Install button. Visual Studio Code installation will be quick. Now click on Finish with Keeping Launch Visual Studio Code ticked. Once you have Visual Studio Code installed, open it up. Now, let's install the Platform I.O. extension. To do this, click on the Extensions icon on the sidebar or use the shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus X to open the Extensions view. In the Extensions view, search for Platform I.O. in the search bar. Find the Platform I.O. extension in the search results and click the Install button. Click on Trust Workspace and Install. While the installation is in progress, let's take a moment to highlight that Platform I.O. is a powerful tool that simplifies the development process for a wide range of microcontroller platforms, making it easier to manage libraries, boards, and platform configurations. Now, click on the Platform I.O. icon on the sidebar to open the Platform I.O. home. When you open Platform I.O., it will start installing Platform I.O. core for the first time, and it may take a couple of minutes. While it's installing, please be patient, as this initial setup process ensures that Platform I.O. is tailored to your specific development needs. It installs essential components and configurations to make your Arduino programming experience smoother. Once successfully installed, reload the VS Code. Let's open the home page of Platform IO. Here we have the option for a Platform IO account. You can log into your Platform IO account or use the available login options. Here, we also have options like project inspection, project and configuration, libraries, boards, platforms, and devices. Now, let's create a new Arduino project. Click on New Project in the Platform IO home. Keep your project a name and choose a location for it. Select Arduino Uno as your board and choose Arduino as your development platform. Then, click Finish. Again, it may take a couple of minutes to complete the first time setup for your board, which will install the required packages based on the board and platform. Now, click on Yes. I trust the authors. Your new Arduino project is now created. You can write your Arduino code in the SRC folder under main.cpp. These are the generated files and folders that will have configurations and settings according to your project. The include folder will have header files. The lib folder will have libraries or user modules. The src folder will have the source files. And the test folder will have unit testing files. The .gitignore file will list files to ignore when pushing the code to the repository. The platformio.ini file will have the project configuration, including the platform, board, and framework. Now, we will add the monitor port name here, for example. Now, let's update the code. Open the main.cpp file, which contains the source code. Let's remove this dummy function and add code for LED blinking. Now connect the Arduino Uno board to the computer. 
Now, go to the devices and look for the available COM port. Update the COM port in the platformio.ini file. As you can see, we got the available COM port number in the suggestion. And now configure the baud rate to 115,200. We can set to any standard baud rate which you required. Let's also add serial prints. Initialize the serial interface and make sure you are using same baud rate in the code and monitor COM port in the platformio.ini. Serial prints are a valuable tool for debugging and monitoring your Arduino projects. They allow you to see messages and data directly in the serial monitor, which can be essential for diagnosing issues in your code. Let's build or compile the code. And now, upload the code to Arduino Uno. It will install one more tool for the very first time, and uploading will start immediately after that. During this step, the platform IO environment is preparing your code for the Arduino Uno and ensuring that all dependencies are in place. This ensures a smooth upload process. Here we go, as you can see LED is blinking on Arduino Uno board. Let's reduce the delay and upload the code again. And you can see the LED is blinking faster. Let's open the serial terminal. So, that's all for today. I know of covering how to debug Arduino in Visual Studio Code using Platform IO, but we will do the next video for that. Just to keep the video simple, Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more videos.